I wonder who could be calling up this time of the morning. Probably somebody's got the wrong number. Uh, there's no use answering it, then. Oh, but Edgar, if you don't answer it, dear, how are they going to know they got the wrong number? <laughs> really, that's the lack of inconsideration, the lack of enough stuff that you have to make consideration. I think the best... Florence! Uh, well, I'll answer it. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, Ed, this is Brother. What are you doing out this time of night? Why aren't you home in bed? I'd have been home hours ago, only I can't get your car started. It's your brother, and he can't get my car started. My car? What's he doing with my car? Now, Edgar, I, I loaned it to him. You loaned it to him? Of course, you know better than that. Cars are hard to get. Suppose he had an accident. Say, if you wreck my car... Don't worry, I haven't heard it. I just can't get the darn thing started. That's because you don't know how to drive. Now, Edgar, but... it could be the car, you know, dear. Getting awfully old. Why don't you buy another one? Look, there's nothing wrong with my car. Nothing that a new body, motor, tires, and a paint job wouldn't fix. All right, if you don't like my car, why did you borrow it? Come on, quiet down there, Kennedy. Oh, Edgar, now you've awakened Mr. Hinkledorf. Tell him you're sorry. I will not, the old oh. goat. Edgar, oh. he's our landlord. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Hinkeldorfer. Hello. 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 Listen, Ed, you better come down and tow me in. How can I tow you in when you've got my car? I know, Edgar. You could buy Mr. Hinkeldorfer's car. Oh, I couldn't do a thing like that. I don't know why not. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I'll ask him. No, no, no. Never mind. I'll ask him. Hello. Brother, where are you? I'm down at Maple and Main Streets. It's only about nine or ten miles from the house. All right, I'll be out there just as soon as I can get there. Oh, that's nice, Edgar. Now, you wake me up when you get home, I'll cook you some breakfast. Oh, well, let's see what I've ever seen. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Like a fire. middle of the night. Oh, it's you. What do you want? I'm sorry to bother you this time of oh, morning. Oh, skip the apologies and get to the point. I want to get back to sleep. Yeah, well, you see, my brother-in-law borrowed my car, and he's having a little difficulty. Pardon me for butting in, but just why should that be of any interest to me? I'm coming to that. <laughs> I wanted to know if I could borrow your car for a couple of hours. <laughs> you, <laughs> you mean you want to borrow my car? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I was afraid you wouldn't like the idea. Listen, Kennedy, I just spent 150 bucks on that car, getting it overhauled and repainted, and I don't want anything to happen to it. You'd you better see? let him have it, dear, or we'll never get any sleep. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, but don't hurt it. I'm warning you. Uh, I'll treat it like it were my own. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Why, take... Excited. I'll get it all fixed up for you. Oh, no, you won't. That car's way beyond fixing. Well, well I tell you what we'll do, Miss Hinkledorfer. We'll give you our car. We were going to buy a new one anyway. You can keep your old rattle trap. You're buying me a new car today. <laughs> If they don't make a profit, how do they stay in business? Ah! That's why they call us Miracle Sam. Go ahead and look the cars over, gentlemen. I'll be with you in a few minutes. Thanks. 
Hey, there's a nice one, Kennedy. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this one over here that looks much better. <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? Five fifty-five. <laughs> look at that new paint job. Oh, look at those new tires on there. And look at this upholstery. Uh, it covers. Uh, look, why don't you get in and sit behind the wheel? Come on. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. There you are. Come on, get in there. That's it. Get right in there behind the wheel. Oh, boy. Here's something you don't often get. Ah, look at the chromium on that light. Don't do that. Well, this windshield wiper won't get down. Oh, that's easily fixed. <clears throat> Open air model. <laughs> well, how do you like the car? I don't. But what's wrong with it? Everything. People just buy these cars for the rubber and throw the rest away. Just follow me, please, and I'll show you some of our better buys. Yeah, but this is the kind of a... Just follow me, please. Oh. This car used to belong to an elderly couple. Never been driven off a city street. Get in behind the wheel and tell me what you think of it. No, 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 wait a minute. It isn't for me. I'm just paying for it. It's for him. Slide in behind the wheel and tell me what you think. Now, wait a minute. I don't want a sedan. I want a coupe, just like the one I have. A coupe, eh? I've got just what you want. Now, let me see. I had a beautiful coupe. There it is. Right this way, please. Take this standard five passenger closed couple coupe. This used to belong to an elderly couple. You said that. Oh, I did? Yeah. This was a much older couple. Oh. Now, you just check this car point by point. Automatic clutch, free wheeling, automatic choke and spark. And you take the motor. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't scratch the paint at all. Now, you take this motor. It's a wonderful motor. Fitted with aluminum pistons and wobble free rods. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you note the boring stroke? I almost did. How much do you want for this? That's something you've got to be mighty careful about, the stroke. Oh, yeah, my poor old father died from one. Yeah. This particular car is equipped with dual horns, four-ply tires, silent timing chain, safety glass, start, stop, and reverse light, three full speeds ahead, and one reverse. Now, that's something. Mm. How much is it going to cost? It's just what you want. I can see it on your face. No, it isn't. I don't like the paint job. Well, it's the same color as your other car. Yeah, I know, but my wife never liked the other one. Don't oh. let a little thing like that bother you. It just so happens at this particular moment, we're in a position to paint your car any of the following colors. Off black, off white, twilight, afternoon, morning, stardust, moonlight, silver, natural, strawberry, orange, lemon, or lime. Mm, good. How much is it going to cost me? That's the way I like to hear you talk. Now, according to the Blue Book, this car should sell for about $1,500. And what is the Blue Book? That's the Bible of the used car business. Hmm. Who publishes it? Why, we do. Step right into the office and we'll figure this out. Uh, Mr. Michelson, this is Mr. Uh, Higgledorfer. How are you, Mr. Higgledorfer? Have a seat. Oh, yes, yes. What's he interested in, Johnny? That standard five-passenger coupe. Fine, fine. You picked the very best car on the floor, sir. How much is the car going to cost? Oh, this is Mr. Uh, Kennedy. How do you do? How, how, you? how much is the car going to cost me? Well, now we'd have to figure that out. Yeah. Is that with or without the electric clock, Johnny? Oh, do you want the electric clock or the hand one clock? I think it'll well, I'd like to have Which the... is the cheapest? Well, the electric clock is 12 and a half, and the hand set is 5.50. We'll worry along with the hand set. You saved yourself $7. Let's see. Now, the electric clock is already installed. Cost $4 to take it off, $1.75 to refinish the dash. Another three and a half for the new installment, making a total of exactly 14 75 for the hand clock. I don't quite get that. Will you give it to me again, please? It's very simple, Kennedy. If they take out the dash and put in the hand clock, they charge you four dollars for taking out the electric clock. Then the dollar and seventy-five cents for refinishing, or was that for installing? No, it's for replacing it. That makes fourteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Now is it clear? No. Well, I think Mr. Hinkledinger is. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon, Mr. Hinkledorf. I think he stated the case very neatly. Now, with a license transfer and federal and state taxes, bumper clips, and air all around for the tires, that makes the car come to exactly $1,425. Oh, 
$1,425. Let's put it this way. The car as it stands is $1,111.11. Yeah, but he's charging me $1,425 for it. Well, of course. But look what you're getting for it. There's the interest in carrying charges, investigating fees and research. And there's the insurance. Fire, theft, confiscation, embezzlement, property damage, collision, public liability, wind, storm, hail, lightning, earthquake. And even then, we reduce it by letting you carry out 80% co-insurance. It's too much money. I won't pay it. Come on, Mr. Hinkledover, let's go down to Happy Dan. Happy Dan? Is he back in business again? Why, sure he is. I guess the government must have given the old bandit a pardon. Let him out so he could catch a couple of more suckers. You're satisfied with our car, aren't you, Mr. Hinkledover? Yes. Listen, Kennedy, I'm getting tired of fooling around. You wanted to come to Miracle Sam's. Now make up your mind. But look, I've only got $500. We'll take it. Now you're talking. As a down payment. And we'll fix it so you won't even notice those other payments. Now, let's see, $1,425 less $500 is about $925. Now, we can fix that in three easy payments of $325 a month. $325 a month? We can make those payments smaller, can't we, Mr. Michael? Well, of course, of course. If you find it more convenient, we'll say uh, 12 months and $100 a month. 12 months and $100 and 12 well, that's $1,700 altogether. Certainly, but there are nine more months of interest and insurance. But I don't want any insurance. Suppose you have an accident and wreck the car. That's a lot of hooey. I've been carrying insurance on my car for years, and I've never had an accident. <laughs> I fooled them this year. I didn't take out any insurance. That was three months ago. I've saved $15. <laughs> All right, then we deduct the insurance. But when we have to deal with a man who requires 12 months to pay a measly $1,700, we can't rate him the same as a man who pays all cash. Look, I want to pay all cash. Of course, you understand, when we sell a car without insurance, we have to increase our carrying charges just a little bit. Look, if you'll give me one of those cars for $555, I'll pay all cash! That's high blood pressure. Don't you think we ought to get the doctor's report? Yes, yes, I almost forgot about the doctor. Uh, 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 send Dr. Riley in, please. Now, don't get on. This is purely a routine matter to determine if you're a good risk. Now, take off your coat, please. Why, well, now, look, let me help you, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, uh, doctor, this is Mr. Kennedy. I want you to give him the once over, please. All right, sit down, Mr. Mr. Kennedy. Wait. Okay. Open. Say ah. 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 Cross your legs, Mr. Kennedy. Well. Ah. Look, I thought we were going to drop this insurance. All I want to do is buy him a car. Yes, yes, we understand perfectly. But we have to be reasonably sure that you're not going to pass out before you finish your payments. How about it, Doc? He's in fair shape. Thank you, Doc. That'll be $20, please. $20? For the examination. Why, I won't pay it. You don't have to. Oh. We put it on the bill. Now, suppose we fill out this very simple little contract. Your full name? Edgar Kennedy. Uh, married? Uh, you don't have to answer that. It's written all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> now, just a few little simple questions and we're all done. Your social security number? How long was your last address? Where do you bank? Mortgage, stock, securities, net worth. Ever been sued? Ever buy a car before on time? Payments? Who from? Married or single? Where were you born? Please answer yes or no. Your nearest living relative? 30 references who are friends, relatives, or people who know you. Did you say something, Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Wait till I get my hands on that brother-in-law of mine. He's responsible for this! Hey, buddy. Wake up. We've been parked here long enough. Now get going. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, officer. I, I can't get this car started. Well, maybe I can help you. I'll take a look. Fine. Turn on the switch and step on your starter. All right. Well, it's okay now. Get going. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kennedy, I'm going to give you one more chance. Are you sure you don't want any insurance on this car? Yes, I'm sure. Well, if you have an accident, don't blame it on me. Will you get out of here? Before you have an accident! All right, goodbye. <laughs> Holy 
smoke? Look at that. A crazy driver hit Hinkle Dobbert's car and turned it completely over. I told for an ambulance. I'll go down there. Let me get in there, will you, please? Let me, let me get in there. I saw the whole thing. Oh, but it wasn't our fault. I know it, I know it. It was the other guy's fault. Yeah. He was speeding, driving on the wrong side of the street and cutting the corner. I'll get you a million dollars for this. Well, baby, I better get his name before he escapes. No, wait a minute. Let me do that. You act like you're hurt. Groan. Groan. Oh. Louder. Oh. You too. Oh. That's it. Now, say that one. Hey, you. Come here. What's your name? Oh, it wasn't my fault. It was... It was... It... Oh. oh, Ed. <laughs> it's all right. I, I got it started. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.